Well, we talked about, you know, definitely last Monday night wasn't uh, indicative of who we were. And um, I was proud of our guys yesterday uh, getting to this you know, semifinal again and getting an opportunity at, at Connecticut again. But we just got off to such a bad start, especially turning it over 16 times in the first half. We just didn't give ourselves an opportunity. So it started there. I thought the second quarter we defended, you know, we battled a lot more. But um, to be successful against them, you got to put the ball in the basket. You got to score. You got to make shots. But you can't give them so many second and third opportunities. Um, and that was the difference. Questions? So, Jose, Jose the, you were talking about the turnovers. The same thing happened Monday in the first half. You had, I think, more turnovers and points that game. You had yeah. three, three more points than turnovers in the first half. We've set a record for all-time turnovers in my 20 years here this year. Seriously. We've had the, we, and and we're, we're talking about this out in the hallway. We've been, we've been between 12 and 14 turnovers a year. That's, that's top 25 in the country for the last seven, eight years. Look, look what we averaged last year, and look what we've averaged this year. Uh, and until we fix that and get that corrected, which we will, uh, we can't get back to where, where we were. You know, we won 19 games last year. Uh, we're beat up. We had different lineups. Uh, finished again. Got to play in the semifinal this year. Um, if things are different in the league and some of the games that we played, we're not we're not the fourth seed. We're playing this game now to play Connecticut in the final. So I think it's a part of growth. We had we had some injuries. We got some youth, and of an in, understanding how important valuing the basketball is and making the most out of every possession. We need to fix that because when we don't turn it over, we're a pretty good basketball team because we rebound it and we shoot the ball. Okay. Questions for Shay? Shay, can you talk about that? The, you were out, outscored underneath uh, in the paint by, by, I think, 22 points today. What happened um, down, down low? Were they just cutting? Were they, it was it just the transition game? Or what, what led to that? Uh, it was just, you know, sometimes it's balling in the basket for them. We were trying, to, or, you know, we can't really double down on them because they have people who can score from the outside. So, you know, just they went in, they attacked us like they're supposed to, and then it was the ball went in. And, Shay, can you just reflect on the season and what it's what it's meant for you? And, and, and uh, you know, obviously you guys are hoping for a postseason berth, but uh, – but been through some things this year. Can you just talk about that? Yeah, I'm super proud of my team. Uh, we've overcame, like you said, injuries, but we also have some young girls on our team, and they've really, you know, some, shown some strides. Of course, there's something we have to prove upon, but they, I can see the potential. Of, like, I can't wait to see like what next year will bring. Uh, like you said, we still have a run for postseason, and we're going to continue to fight hard. We never, even when we're hurt, even when. You know, we have, may have some other issues. We're going to keep fighting no matter what. That's what I'm most proud of my team. Any other questions? Coach, can you talk about uh, what UConn has done going through the conference the entire time, uh, being as successful as they have been, and uh, the challenges that always is against the co uh, another team? Yeah, it's very impressive. What are they up to now, 173? What's the number? But I don't, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. You know, they haven't lost for seven years in league play or in tournament play. That's that's pretty impressive. But um, we were in we were we were in the Big East together with them. And how many how many Big East games did they lose as well? How many? Right? What three in seven years? St. John's got them, and I think Rutgers got them once in Notre Dame. So we talk about their success all in the American Conference, and it was, well, they were pretty successful in the Big East. They went three undefeated seasons where they didn't lose for 120 straight, straight games as well when they were in the best league in the country. Back when we were in the Big East, nine, nine teams went to the NCAA tournament, eight or nine, and then another four, four or five went to the NIT. So 14 of the 16 league teams went to postseason play. 
That was pretty impressive.